YouTube. We're going to have a little discussion today. Today, I wanted to talk about signature yo-yos and all that other signature stuff. So, let's get right into it. Signature yo-yos. A relatively new development within the yo-yo scene are signature yo-yos. Back in the 90s, signature yo-yos weren't a thing. Like, you could get yo-yos that had other guys' pictures on them, like Johan's. Uh, I know there were plenty of Johan's uh, pro yo's. He was like the Playmax guy and he did all the tutorials and stuff. Now he owns Yo-Yo Factory. But as far as like a signature yo-yo, those didn't really exist. They, they weren't a thing and they were never a thing. Not in the 50s. Uh, you know, you could get Imperials that had like Smothers Brothers on them, but they weren't actual custom designs or signature designs for yo-yos. They were just a yo-yo with somebody's face on it or their name on it or something like that. But they were all the same yo-yo that existed prior. Fast forward to current, uh, everybody's got a signature yo-yo. If you are a high profile player, a sponsored player, chances are there's 50% chance that that person has a signature yo-yo. And I think that's amazing. So I've got a signature yo-yo sitting right here right now. This is the Grasshopper X. This is uh, Mr. Janos Karantz signature Duncan yo-yo. This thing's awesome. I'll review this here soon too. I traded for this. I traded my buddy Brett. Thanks Brett. This yo-yo is amazing. Anyway, this is so cool. And these are so cool because what it does, it gets the best players in the world and the guys that are the most serious about this and it lets them decide and say, okay, this is what I need to perform to my absolute best ability. And there's really no limits to what they can do and what they can design. This is pretty standard and straightforward as far as yo-yo design is concerned right now, although it's great. This is an awesome shape. I love this yo-yo. And I like, grasshoppers are great. Both of them, the mono metal and the bimetal one are great. Great design. It's just a good shape. You know, they are so different. Think of the difference just between the edge and the shutter. Those are Yo-Yo Factory's two top guys. Both those Yo-Yos are made by Yo-Yo Factory, but they're so different. They're super different. They're different looking, they're different playing, and they're different, way, way different prices. The Edge is, what, 80 bucks now? And the shutter is about 45. Huge differences in size, shape, and everything, and those are the uh, the signature Yo-Yos of two, two top competitors. Um, we didn't have that back in the day. Everything was either you had a Butterfly or an Imperial, and whatever that company's take on those shapes were. Now it's all over the place. We get W shapes, H shapes, everything. And every player kind of gets to pick their own. They get to pick their own weight distribution. They get to just design it down to every last little aspect and detail of it. And I think that's awesome because that enables those players to then sell that yo-yo and make revenue off of it. Uh, Gentry Stein apparently makes a very decent living playing yo-yo and selling replays and shutters and shutter wide angles and what have you just by traveling the world and being part of the yo-yo community. And everybody has a shutter, everybody's got a couple replays, and he's done a really good job with that. And you know what, he makes money and he gets to travel and do it all through yo-yo, and that is incredible. Uh, and that's really cool. And more guys can do that now that more guys are getting signature yo-yos, and a lot of them are really good. Some of the best yo-yos that exist are signature yo-yos. Again, I'm gonna point out the Grasshopper X. This thing's incredible. Should everybody get a signature yo-yo? Do we oversaturate with it? And is there an oversaturation point? Maybe. Um, I like what a lot of the smaller companies are doing is instead of giving their players signature yo-yos, they're giving them like a signature color. They're letting them pick. Maybe letting them tweak a design uh, like with Too Sick. Uh, I know that they let, uh, I think it was Blaze Becker. They let Blaze put a brass ring in his knight as opposed to the stainless steel ring that was in just the non- player the non-signature version um so it really was more or less the same yo-yo just with a heavier weight ring and it really was just a preference kind of thing he was like well i want a little bit more weight in the rim okay well let's put a brass ring in there instead of steel boom there we go um but otherwise the same yo-yo so i like that as well just kind of the like signature colorway stuff uh instead of necessarily the signature yo-yos because it's possible to flood the market with too much stuff and you know if you have 35 signature yo-yos you have to sell for 35 different players, you know, you're kind of, everybody is kind of competing with each other, and a lot of times it's like the players on your own team. But I think that it's kept right now, I think we're at a good good threshold, and I think that Yo-Yo Factory and CLYW does a lot of signature throws and stuff like that. I think they do a good job sort of concise and sort of just not over 
overdone and not oversaturating the market with way too many signature yo-yos that are just tiny little tweaks and basically the same yo-yo over and over again with just little tiny changes. Most of the signature yo-yos that exist are actually very different from a lot of the other yo-yos in the respective lines in which they exist, uh, like CLYW. For instance, uh, like Vertico has been on the team for a year. He doesn't have a signature yo-yo, but he has a signature colorway uh, that he's got on actually two separate yo-yos now. One's on the Manatee and one is on the uh, Puffin. But, you know, he, he gets a signature color and then he could kind of pick and choose between yo-yos, although I think, think he's still using the Manatee primarily for competition. But he's got his color on a couple different yo-yos, which is very cool and good for, uh, good for Bird for getting his... Uh, getting his colors out there because I think it's cool and he's a cool dude but uh, you know the real point is that money in yo-yo doesn't really come from winning contests or doing stuff like that I mean I guess from demonstrations you can get money for that and I know people that have had success doing school demonstrations and what have you because it is it's cool it's cool to watch and grade school kids love it and it's fun but the real money for the players comes through revenue merchandise sales so uh this is clearly the primary piece of merchandise that players are going to get you know a metal yo-yo maybe a bi-metal yo-yo and then you know some little offshoot yo-yos gentry does gentry has a lot of them uh think about how many shutters and shoe taws and stuff there were um but you know uh, a metal yo-yo and then maybe a plastic yo-yo and then you know other signature stuff as well but what i think is you know would be really great is in addition to signature yo-yos if other signature gear was to start to be inserted into the lineup. Uh, the first thing, the thing that's starting to kind of become a big thing now is signature string. So I've got some signature string, some zipline strings, and they did just get restocked over the weekend. So if you want to go pick up some Hulk and Stein or some Tainted Love, uh, I would suggest going to zipline strings. There's a link in the description. Um, and going to pick some up because they're amazing and they always sell out and they're really, really good. And I love them. But you know, there's a lot of other guys that are doing signature strings. Uh, Paul Harness is also uh, a sponsored player. He's sponsored through SF. He's got a signature yo-yo. And he has a signature string through Zipline Strings, which is very cool. And I'd like to see more of that. More signature strings, more signature yo-yos. Uh, and, you know, even getting it down to even the more nitty-gritty stuff. Signature response pads. You know, if you have a response pad that you like especially, even if it's just a red pad or something, let's slap some people's names on them. Sell them in bulk. Hey, you want the signature red pad of Gentry Stein? This is what he uses for competition. It's designed to his specifics. It doesn't have to be super special. It's just like, this is what Gentry uses. This is what he wants. And this is what he likes. Maybe you'll like it too. And then if you can buy it as a signature set or a signature package, and you can have that sort of response that you like and tie it to a player. I think that's cool. Uh, same thing with bearings. Maybe it just has to come down to shape you know yo-yo factory generally uses the center track which is the up on the sides and then the flat in the center uh i think center track's great but you know maybe evan prefers the maybe evan to gal prefers the centering bearing with the groove the, the groove bearings maybe you know maybe nate daly prefers the five cut bearing and you know you could sort of through them get through that get different shapes of the bearings and say okay well this is Nate Daly's signature bearing it's a hybrid ceramic five cut bearing this is Gentry Stein's signature it's a ten ball set center track bearing uh, you know stuff like that I, I think the possibilities are sort of endless uh, because then what you could do is sell them as a package you know what I mean like you could put say oh do you want the Gentry Stein package you get a shutter you get a Gentry Stein yo-yo holster you get the Gentry Stein pads installed with an extra set and you get the Gentry Stein bearing installed and maybe an extra bearing or something. And that would be very cool, you know? That would be one of those things where, you know, and maybe you get the Gentry Stein strings. I don't know. I think Gentry just uses Kitty. But, you know, whatever. That'd be very cool, right? You get the whole package, the package for the player. That'd be a great thing to do, particularly at contests, to have, you know, your player who's up there doing doing his thing. Oh man, look how good he's doing. Hey, do you want to buy his merch? Here's the package for all of it. It's at a special discount rate. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's a special color for this specific contest. Nationals is coming up. Think about it. How cool is that? I really think that would be cool. And I think that's where the signature yo-yo thing is going. I think the signature yo-yo thing is amazing. 
It's probably my favorite thing that's happened between my not playing yo-yo as much or being into yo-yo as much since being a kid and current. And uh, I hope it doesn't stop and I hope it expands into more yo-yo accessories. Like, you know, holsters and such. Yeah, you'll see this too. This is a cool holster. Um, we'll do a little review on that. But tell me what you guys think down in the comments. Do you think signature yo-yos are great? What do you think about signature yo-yos? I think they're awesome. I think it's very cool. Uh, I don't think the market is flooded with them, but I do realize there is a potential for that. But I don't think we've hit that point yet. I think it's good, and I think all that's happening are good things. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. I do videos every single day. I It's just craziness. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers to you. I will see you next time.